Well, hey everybody, this is Joe Robinson, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an easy finger style guitar lesson. I'm gonna show you how to play this. Now in this tune, we just have five chords being used. We have A minor, E minor, D minor, C major, and E major. And we're playing a pattern with a thumb on our right hand that is really, really great to practice. So I'm going to show you how to play this tune in four steps. Step one is the thumb pattern only. Step two is playing string grabs along with the thumb pattern. Step three is playing a two note roll along with the thumb pattern, so just inserting two notes being played with the fingers as well as the thumb pattern. Step four is a continuous roll. So taking that same rolling pattern and playing it continuously throughout the chord progression. So let's take a look at step one, the thumb pattern. So over the A minor chord, because the A minor chord has the root note on the fifth string, we're going to play the fifth string bass pattern. And it sounds like this. Now there are three bass patterns we're going to learn. And this is the first one. It's five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four. I'm referring to the string numbers. So five, four, six, four. Five, four, six, four. And I'm muting with my palm of the right hand to just get the strings to have that kind of muffled sound. If you don't mute, it sounds like this. Which can sound nice as well. But if we do this, we get a little bit more control, I guess, of the length of the notes. They just don't ring out as long. So that's step one. Playing that pattern, but we're gonna learn it over all the chords. Now the E minor chord has the root note on the sixth string. So we're gonna play the sixth string bass pattern over that chord. And the sixth string bass pattern is six, four, five, four, six, four, five, four. Six, four, five, four. So, so far, we have five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four. And then we have six, four, five, four. So remember I said there were only three patterns? We've learnt two of them. And the third one happens over that D minor chord because the D minor chord has the bass note on the fourth string. We're going to play the fourth string bass pattern, and it's the same as the fifth string bass pattern, but it's just one string higher. So we go four, three, five, three, four, three, five, three, just like that. And this might seem a little bit mundane. A little bit boring to some people, 
But getting this thumb pattern to feel really good is really worth spending the time doing. Getting this thumb pattern to be really consistent, getting the thumb to be independent from the fingers is really a key element in playing blues and folk based fingerstyle guitar. So we're going to play the thumb pattern over the entire chord progression. And the chord progression goes A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor. D minor, C, E, there we have it, that's step one. Step two is playing that exact same pattern, but adding a string grab on the downbeat, so on beat one. We're going to do a string grab using the right hand fingers, and we're going to stick to the uh, index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, and the ring finger on the first string. So it's going to sound like this. So all I'm doing there is on the downbeat, one, two, three, four. I do the string grab on the downbeat. When we change chords, that is. So all we're doing here is getting used to playing the fingers alongside the thumb and getting you know those notes to ring out clearly. getting used to the fingers doing one thing and the thumb doing another thing. I should note over the D minor chord, we're going to do a string grab just using two fingers because there aren't enough notes really. So we're just going to play the two high strings and then when we get to the C and the E major, we can play the three high strings again. Step three is a two note roll. So we're just inserting two notes between the bass notes. So the thumb pattern sounds like this. And we're going to insert two notes like this. That's all it is. The two notes are. So the notes happen on the up. So one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Listen to the way it sounds, refer to the tab. There's free tab for this lesson. So we're just adding two notes between the bass notes. It's gonna sound like this. So, so that's five, three, four, two. Five, three, four, two. on with the thumb back and then move through the chords just adding two notes that's all there is to it
Step four is a continuous roll, and what we're doing here is we're just playing the same two note roll, but we're keeping it going through the chord progression. So it's gonna sound like this. Let's talk about the little lick at the end. We slide up with the pinky from the third fret to the fifth fret of the second string and play the open E high and low along with it. And then we play. So we just walk down that pentatonic scale. E, D, so third fret with the pinky and then first fret in the second string. So E, D, C, B, open B. And I'm playing the high E as like a pedal note. So it's played along with every single note. Any on an A minor chord. Two, open, two, A minor to finish with. If you'd like to learn more fingerstyle guitar, check out my courses at joerobinson.com slash courses, especially my beginner, intermediate, and advanced fingerstyle series, as well as my Guitar Synergy channel, which is an archive of dozens and dozens of great songs to learn with tab and tutorial videos. I really think songs uh, is like the next step once you've gotten comfortable with these thumb patterns and, and the rolling patterns, you know, learning some good songs, is next. Songs like Freight Train, Windy and Warm, Dots Guitar, I'll See You in My Dreams, and uh, since we're learning a variety of melodies and patterns, it's really a great way to, to build our technique through learning a lot of songs, building our repertoire. If you've made it this far in the video, just write fingerstyle in the comments. So leave the secret comment, fingerstyle. If you'd like me to post more lessons like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos.